for a trick. I, it works. Oh, oh gosh, look at him. Hey. Hey. All right. I'm gonna just wrap this down over that way. Fantastic. Okay, baby, stay with mama. Yeah. I feel like I have tears in me. I'm gonna start crying at some point when my adrenaline. <laughs> Like, it was quick. It's weird. It was like the longest labor, but like the quickest. <laughs> yeah, at the same time. When Hi, love. You okay? You trying to move around? <laughs> Dan's like, oh god, I'm gonna drop him. He's your baby. You're not gonna drop it. He's trying to go that way. He wants to eat. He wants food. Yeah, he's like. Ah. I'll feed him. I'll I'll try to like unwrap him and do skin to skin and mm -hmm. stuff. But I want you to hold him. Cooper's gonna teach you monster trucks. I'm gonna teach you everything else. Yeah. <laughs> As you have your monster truck or my jam yeah. shirt on. Yeah. Typical you boy dad. <laughs> You'll get one monster truck every time we go to Target. <laughs> Those are the rules. <laughs> you open your eyes. Oh. Hello. I know it's hard. They put some stuff on them. It's okay. You can sleep a little longer. I'm on your feet. Yeah. I wanted to get him working on my milk supply eventually. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's a good idea. Although my milk's kind of already in. Like it's not in in, but he already kind of choked on my milk. I'm trying my hardest not to boop you on the nose. <laughs> To dad. <laughs> Boop. You're gonna get teeth one day. You're gonna get a bunch of hair. We're gonna have to go get haircuts together. Oh, we're gonna bring two of them. Maybe give soccer a try. Hey, maybe we got a lot of soccer stuff if you want it. <laughs> yeah, hockey skates. Right. You're looking at me. Are you looking at me? Yeah, I'm your dad. She's the boobs. <laughs> She's the food machine. Yeah. You'll love me, Sawyer, for a while, but then you'll you'll eventually be fed up with me once I, I get rid of the boobs. Yeah. And then you'll be best and friends with dad. You, you just want me. Yep. I know. It was a tough one, right? They said, okay, he's going to be coming soon, and then there you were. No time to think. That was... I still can't believe that happened a second time to us. Mm -hmm. When I was having those contractions and I was talking to them about not said, getting the epidural... Yeah. You said you only had six more pushes in you. Six more contractions. Literally... literally the amount that you needed. Mm -hmm. I said to him, I was like, I was like trying to give a realistic number. I was like, I have about six more contractions that I can handle. Yeah. So like, that's how, I basically was saying that's how many I can give you to get the anesthesiologist here to give me the epidural yeah. before I like just cannot handle it anymore. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, it was actually. <laughs> and she actually said, she was like, well, we're going to need a lot more than that. Yeah. So. Yeah. And we didn't know. <laughs> she did not think that yeah, they I Yeah, underestimated had... you. Yeah. In your warrior pose. I totally jumped up into my warrior pose. Yeah. The same, I delivered him the exact same way. Hi, guys. How are you? So, it is 12 midnight on the 1st 
day of our baby's life. Um, technically now it's actually the next day, so it's no longer this baby's birthday. Um, but I wanted to start documenting some stuff for you so that you can kind of see a behind the scenes of what it's like to kind of have a baby and like the first 24 hours of having a baby. First, as far as my body, I'm feeling pretty good. I have a small second degree tear, which is what I had with my daughter. And then I had a full second degree tear with my son. Um, and I have to say, I do have a high tolerance of pain. I did just have a 30 hour labor and I had no pain medication um, or pain management. But second degree tears honestly aren't really that bad. So when you get into like the three degree tear and the four degree tears when things start to get like a little hairy down there and i don't mean like literally hairy i just mean like they start to get painful like super painful so if you do hear second degree tear just know that while it could still be bad and depending on your pain tolerance it could be really bad um chances are you'll probably be okay um so just take that but i wanted to show you first what my belly looked like on the day the official day that the baby comes out. This is um, my third pregnancy, well my fourth pregnancy really, my third delivery. Um, I did have a miscarriage at one point and this is what my belly looks like. So this is what my belly looks like. I gave birth at 2 p.m. and it is 12 midnight. So in about two hours, it'll be 12 hours just so you guys can kind of see what it looks like. Now, I can like relax it like that if I really wanted to and that's what it looks like. But that is with my muscles engaged. In here, I just have my water bottle that they gave me. I have my Earth Mama spray and then I have all of my Depends and I have my belly band for tomorrow that I can start putting around my belly and we can start trying to help my organs go back into the places that they're supposed to be. <laughs> but right now our little nugget just left. I forgot what they said he was gonna go do. They have to do like a hearing test. They have to, um, they offer to give him like a bath, which a lot of people choose not to, And but I always have. And I do do things pretty crunchy, I would say, but I've always allowed them to bathe them because they're kind of gross when they come out, and I know it's really good for their skin to keep that like vernix. But guys, um, my personal preference is like, I'm like, you just give them one good bath. Yeah, I don't mind them like getting a bath, and I think that's when they truly start to look like themselves, and really like, they don't look like all crusty when they take a bath. Like you can see their hair color and stuff like that, so I personally like getting them a bath. And then there's a few other things that they go and they take them for, but you can request to have some of these things done in your room, depending on the hospital or the birthing center or wherever you're giving birth. Um, home births obviously will be very different because you'll pretty much do everything at home. Um, and so she asked me would I like her to bring the baby back at 1 a.m. Um, even though it's 12 right now, they took her, they took the baby at about 11.30. Or do I want them to bring the baby right back? And I said, I would prefer for you to bring the baby right back. I don't mind rooming in, especially having Dan here with me. I've never had Dan stay with me in the hospital. But the one last thing that I just want to really talk to you about quickly is how scary it is the first night, whether you are a seasoned mom or a brand new mom. Oh my goodness. I have woken up maybe 10 times in two hours, three hours, and peeked up and checked to make sure this baby was still breathing. If you are super panicked and you find yourself doing that at any point <laughs> in early motherhood, you are not alone. It's very common. When it starts to super duper in interfere with your life and you start to have like very spiraling thoughts and feel you feel severe panic over that, that's not that normal. It's normal, but it's not something that you should have to learn to cope with. Um, and you should speak to a provider. And speaking to a provider does not mean that you are a damaged mom and you're not capable or anything along those lines. And you do not have to suffer. That is not what motherhood's about, experiencing those feelings. So, but just know it is normal and common, even for a, a, a seasoned mom like myself, to be like, what the heck, now I all of a sudden have a baby again that like can't move a blanket. <laughs> so it's, it's an adjustment. But anyway, I'm gonna go lay back down 
because I do need to get some sleep and I will see you guys tomorrow bright and early with our little nugget and you will officially get to meet this baby and we cannot wait I can't wait it is just about to be 3 a.m. and I woke this little one up at 2 a.m. normally we don't wake up our babies like even in newborn itty bitty newborn stage we allow them to sleep but because he's 37 weeks and he's a little bit of a lazier eater I just want to make sure that I'm getting he's getting nutrients in and he the last time he ate was 10 p.m. so um, 11 12 1 2 that was four hours already and I need him to get my milk in hi dad Hello. Smile. oh really it's yeah, he probably just wants more boob, yeah. more boobage, but he has been fed, burped, diaper changed, and then we called the nurses in to swaddle. Guys, tip from a parent who have done this three times now: always get the nurses to swaddle your baby. Doesn't matter how good you are, they're the best. yeah, they are the best. They will always and forever be the best at swaddling. Your babies will always and forever sleep the best in a nice tight swaddle by the nurses so just do yourself a favor call the nurses in even if you want to like call them in for something else <laughs> yeah and then just ask them but we definitely want them to swaddle Yeah, he loves it. We do snuggles now. Oh. It's wet. I don't know why that's wet, but it is. <laughs> it's just wet things. Dan is holding this little nugget. He's such a cutie. I can't see him. I think he's been sleeping like all morning. He loves to cuddle. He's a cuddly baby. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And that's not even like just the 20 for, first 24 hours. So if you guys aren't like aware, the first 24 hours a baby after usually is just like so sleepy and so cuddly and snuggly and won't eat a ton. And then the second night at the hospital is usually chaos. And you're like, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? <laughs> it's literally how it goes. And Dan, not only gets to probably skip the second night of the hospital, which is like the worst, but he also, look at him in his own bed. I got a pretty sweet bed, so. I, My bed's over there, his bed's over here. Do you know how many people are watching this right now, like second time pregnant people, and they're like, oh, he got so lucky. Well, the, the first hospital, it was just like a couch. <laughs> and I remember I, I did fall asleep on that. I took a nap on it when I was there, but I didn't stay over. Yeah, right. Because we either had like a dog that we had to take care of or kid yeah right yeah no he's so cute he definitely reminds me of i don't know i want to say cooper but he kind of reminds me of willa yeah. like, not facial ex expressions just kind of how willa was like as a baby okay so you hold him i'm gonna go in the shower all right hi guys i'm back and i want to show you not much of a change but my belly now probably let's see 2 a.m almost on 18 hours postpartum that is if i let it go and that's if i engage my apps so i'm going to go in the shower because showering always makes oh my goodness showering always makes you feel so much better guys i highly suggest just getting in the shower the next day like the, your your full day your full first day with your baby try to get in the shower wash your hair just everything and you'll feel so much more refreshed and like clean down there and everything. Um, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my belly band on today too, I think. Just kind of see if I can help my organs kind of get back, back into place. Kind of what I want to do is I want to definitely support my, um, my muscles, my ab muscles. Because I do ha get diastasis recti. Um, but I've been able to pretty much avoid it this pregnancy, I think. So hopefully with the band, I'll be able to support my belly enough to where I won't really have serious issues with it. I can still feel my abs engage, which is really nice. 
Our little love went to go and get his last of his blood work. And take a bath. And take a bath. Yeah. He got his little, he's getting his little bath right now, and we are pretty much discharged. Yeah, they said they're, they're doing 24 hours from birth. Yeah, and it's 2 right now, and he was born at 2.08, so it's like 2.20. So when he's done and all the paperwork's in, we get to go home. I thought we were going to be like closer to like the late like dinner time. Like, I thought it was going to be like 8 p.m., 9 p.m. Yeah. Like late, late, like they were gonna do a late, late one. But I think because we're third time parents too, they're yeah, a little well, bit more. I, I feel like there's like different protocols now where they don't want people staying in the hospital. Well, don't need to be in the hospital. Anymore. I mean, it makes sense. It's yeah. it's safer for us to be a, like a pediatrician phone call away, yeah. and then be stuck inside like a petri dish. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> petri dish is much kinder. <laughs> it's actually a very nice hospital. So. It is a very nice hospital. Yeah, I agree. It was, uh, had a really good stay here. So right now, we just packed up all of our stuff. And we're just hanging out, waiting for him to come back. But uh, we have our Appa Baby Mesa right here. And I grabbed, let me show you guys everything that I grabbed. Because I don't even know if I was able to show you. I brought this blanket because it matches his car seat. And it will go over his little lap. And then, I don't think we're going to end up giving this to him. But I just brought it just in case for the car ride. Because you never know how babies like react to things. And then this is what I brought for him. So now that you guys know who he is, and that he's a he, so this is what I brought. So I have my Eden and Emeralds pouch that uh, says Sawyer on it. And then we also, in my bag, I have the matching swaddle for this, just in case we needed it. I didn't know how long we were going to stay here for or whatnot. So this is from Copper and Pearl. And then I have the matching swaddle. And then in here, I grabbed um, a little onesie. Now Gerber onesies run extremely small this is actually a newborn but it's probably the size of a preemie i didn't know how big he was going to be and amazingly he, he is almost our biggest baby he would have been for sure. i'm but i'm literally over here like oh we're gonna have a preemie oh yeah. this oh that he was almost our biggest kid same size as cooper yeah just a little bit a little bit smaller but it's by an ounce weeks earlier yeah, he was, he was gonna be definitely a biggest baby. Like by an ounce, he was big. He, like yeah. Cooper has an ounce on him. Yeah. I brought those. The socks are though gonna be too small on him, but that's what happens when you have like hand knit stuff, like handmade knit stuff. Like those are just way too big for him. No fault to the person knitting them, but it's kind of hard to gauge like baby baby sizes. Uh, same thing with this. I don't think this is gonna fit him right now, even though I absolutely love it. But I will definitely be putting that on him when his noggin gets a little bit bigger. But I think for just going home, we're just going to put this little bear hat on him because it's super tiny. See the difference in size? It's like way smaller. So we might end up putting this on him instead. I'll see how this fits him, but I think we're going to go with this. For photos, though, I don't know. I kind of... See, that's the thing about putting a hat on a baby. When they're bald, it's like, eh, whatever. But he has, like, the cutest little head of hair. Like, I kind of... Like, yeah, like, I kind of sure, don't... Yeah. yeah, I think I might... We might try to do that. Um, and then I also have here, let me move some of this stuff. His actual outfit that he's going to be wearing home is just from H&M. I always spent so much money, and I'm talking like $60, $70 on a take-home outfit for Cooper and Willa, and it was all like elaborate and whatnot. And honestly, like, I, I bought this outfit before I knew it was a boy or a girl, and I just love it. Like, it's just such good quality and so beautiful. And I knew that if we ended up having a girl, I could just put, like, a really cute, like, florally, magenta, blue, like, colored bow with it. And it would just look so cute as, like, a little girly outfit as well. So, this is what he is going to go home in. It's nice and small. Nice and, like, good quality material. Nice and soft. I got these tiny little socks from H&M as well, so he'll have those on. I was going to put this on him too, but he has his umbilical cord clip on still, and I feel kind of weird, like, putting such a tiny little onesie, like, over that. So I think I'm just gonna... We're not gonna really, like, go anywhere. We're just gonna go to the Starbucks drive through and then go home. Um, I think he'll be perfectly fine. And then I also have these from first hello i love her little like name tags they're so affordable and you can get like a bunch of different colors she can basically do any single color like you can send her a photo of something and she can try to match it so i'm gonna give one to cooper when when we get home and then one to willa 
and then I have the hello my name is Sawyer so this was gonna be like his little outfit plan just like that but I don't really think it's gonna work too well we'll kind of see like what works I don't know we'll figure it out Alrighty guys, so I think that we are going to end the video here. This was the first 24 hours, kind of, having a baby in the hospital. <laughs> a long 24 yeah. plus hours. Yeah, we're actually getting discharged to go home right now. We're just waiting for him to come back. Um, but then we are going to get everything downstairs into the car. Really tired. <laughs> I'm sure you are. I think I've gotten in the past four days. We should calculate how much sleep I've actually gotten. Look I'm at the bags under my eyes. How many calories you ate too. A lot. So just, well, I mean today, but <laughs> the past couple of days you haven't. I made up for it. One of my eyeballs looks bigger than my other eyeball. Like, that's how tired I am. This one's like you protruding. You gotta touch this <laughs> one's a little bit. <laughs> Even it out. <laughs> I don't want any part of this. <laughs> Do you love me still? <laughs> so when I, we get home, I that eye shrinks down a little bit. <laughs> I just pushed out. Oh wait, first off, I didn't push anything. <laughs> the baby just fell out of my body. But I just went through a 30 hour unmedicated labor for you and your child, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, appreciate so, it. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping my eye off of the screen. <laughs> This is my show now. <laughs> it's, 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 stage. it's the Fitzgerald. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I got nixed. The the nurse actually just came in here and she thought that and I left. Like, was, that, was that them? Did they, did they leave their baby they left here? Baby. And I was like, well, we have two at home, so we kind of just figured we would just we leave that. It's not a big deal. And, um, Are you really cutting your eye out? <laughs> I'm literally cutting my eye out. It's seriously way bigger than my other I don't Maybe know. We should just see a I, know. <laughs> the I think I just didn't take all the makeup off, and it's just like perfectly aligning my eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I'm just making making stuff up at this point. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, now you can be on full screen. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that's so nice of you. Yeah. There you go. Now look, I look normal now. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the worst outro of a video I've ever experienced in my entire life. Um, if you guys are still here, which you're probably not, um, we are going to be leaving the hospital. We got discharged. We're just waiting for them to give our baby back. I don't think they trust us. <laughs> yeah. So, like, get the baby back to them now. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, yeah, we're going to take a, like, a snap of a pic or two here of uh, Sawyer in his clothes. And then we are going to get into the car and get coffee and then go home. Coffee first, then go home to kids. Then, yeah. They can, they can stay with See where our priorities lie. A little bit longer. Yeah. Um, and then we are going to introduce Cooper and Willa to their, their sib. To their baby brother. Boy, girl, boy, babe. Yeah. You have two sons. How do you feel? I feel great. Dan and I, I have had that. Dan and I have had a while to, to think about that one. Yeah. No, I, I'm into it. I don't think Willa would uh, enjoy another yeah another girl in the house. We're gonna go now. My face has been blurry this whole time, but granted, I don't. I think you did that on purpose. It's a good thing. It's <laughs> yeah. good thing. You yeah. put this on. You actually have like that censored like blur face. I've on just you. been like here tapping the screen yeah. like on your face. Yeah. We will see you guys in the next video. If you want to see how Cooper and Willa react to their baby brother, come back to our channel and come watch the next one. Bye. Bye. The world could fall down. It's gonna be okay The sun could go